What's cracking, guys? Omar Esau here, back with another video. We're going three for three. Okay, I'm back to the frequent uploads, but I'm keeping the quality up there. We're talking about the bench press. We're talking about how to increase the bench press via looking at the bar path, and then the contributing factors to that would be leg drive, arch, and then your shoulders, the roll of your shoulders in that. Uh, here's the big uh, point I want to make. The bar path on the bench press should not be straight. If you're properly utilizing leg drive right in an arch, you'll notice that you go kind of in a J curve. You go back towards your face when you press. So it doesn't go in a straight line. It goes in that curve. And that becomes more and more pronounced the stronger you get. You'll see a difference. Beginner lifters will basically bench press in a straight line and then elite lifters, as they become stronger and stronger, they push it back towards their face. Essentially what they're doing, they're using all the different parts of their body to their advantage to lift the most amount of weight. And even if you're a bodybuilding bro, just thinking to yourself, you know what man, like I don't even care about that stuff. I just want to get swole. Well, mechanical tension, uh, which is the weight you lift, is very important. So lifting the most amount of weight for hypertrophy is very good. And that is why when we look at the bench press, you should not be benching in a straight line. You'll once again notice beginners, they have a flat back, they have no arch, they have no leg drive, and they kind of push the bar away from themselves. Well, let's break this down right here. What is the bench press? What are the three really major uh, muscle groups? You got your chest, obviously, you got your triceps, and then you got your deltoids. Uh, essentially, what's going on with your triceps, they're kind of, you know, just elbow extensors. Your uh, uh, chest helps bring the bar when you're pushing your shoulders back in and up like so. And then finally, when it comes to the shoulder itself, uh, there's two major functions, but the most important one we want to talk about is that shoulder flexion, basically going like this in this motion, so raising your arm up and down. So, what you'll notice then, if you don't bring the bar back towards your face, so you start somewhere around your sternum, down here in that band, and then as you press up, you bring it back towards your face. If you don't do that, if you just bench in a straight line, what will happen, you're leaving out a lot of the shoulder work that is and should be done when it comes to the bench press. And that is why really good benchers, they synchronize two things at once. The bar position when it touches their chest and then the leg drive. Because essentially what you want to do, you want to make that distance between your shoulder itself and the bar as little as possible when you're pressing, when you want to push it back in order to lift the weight. It's easier for your shoulders if you have a big drive with your legs, a tight arch, a high point of contact. And honestly, people ask this all the time, like, man, what is really the function of the arch. It's a few different things we could talk about total body tension, but really when it comes down to it, the arch is to try and reduce that range of motion. And once again, if you want to lift more weight, that becomes important. So you arch to get that, you know, decreased range of motion, and then you use that leg drive to push the bar back towards your face. Use also your shoulders to help contribute that. And then from there, your pecs take over more and your triceps as well. So beginners will tend to flat back, no leg drive whatsoever, long range of motion, and again, that has its place. However, if you can lift more weight, you can get more gains, so you want to really hone in on your technique. And if you notice, uh, when I bench 350 pounds, like when push comes to shove, shit will happen. I actually use by default that really big push back with my leg drive and then with the shoulder flexion going on. Essentially, you'll notice like the elbows kind of flare and I push the bar back towards my face. And again, uh, they've done studies and they looked at it, and a key difference when it comes to just lifters over time as they become stronger on the bench press is their bar path changes so it goes from a straight line to more of that curve and that curve becomes more pronounced the really good benchers like if you look at a uh, uh, Bill uh, Kazmaier if you look at his uh, bench press look at the curve that he has that initial leg drive where he pushes down is really pronounced that arch is big and then he shoves kind of the shoulders out and pushes the bar back towards his face and yes once again there is obviously a safety factor but as long as you're choosing a good grip and you're utilizing good technique, you should absolutely be fine. I'm going to link in the description uh, my video when it comes to leg drive if you're kind of not clear on that. Also my video on how to develop a proper arch. I have a brief overview here of both of those. Essentially, when it comes to foot position, you want to find what's most comfortable for you. Taller lifters will tend to have their feet straight out in front of them and close together. If you can, bring them further back. That's what you want to do. You don't want to, and I do notice this, you don't want to be the lifter, however, that sacrifices kind of position for comfort. And what I mean is that you put your feet really far back, you get that really high arch, you kind of reduce your range of motion by an extra half an inch, but you're just not as tight, like the muscles that are supposed to be working aren't really working, and it just feels off. 
You want to be in a setup that you feel powerful, right? That you can push the most amount of weight. So you want to use your body to your advantage. You want to get that leg drive. You want to get that proper arch. And then when it comes time to bench, the very key point right here is you want to begin with that violent the leg drive and then that push back. You use those shoulders in order to push the weight back towards your face. And so you want to think about that cue. The big thing you guys can do out there is to film your bench press from the side just to see that. You essentially want to synchronize your leg drive with the push back. And that's why when you do it correctly, you'll notice that arc, right? You'll notice it go back towards your face. I could say for myself, before I learned this technique, before my man Sean Kelly, owner of Fortis Fitness, showed me this technique, my bench was kind of stagnant. When I was able to properly utilize this, use some of that leg drive and some of that, you know, flaring of the elbows and pushing back, using that shoulder flexion, the real function, let's face it, one of the major functions of the shoulders when it comes to the bench press, then my bench went up. Because you'll see from a mechanical standpoint, it's easier for your body to complete the movement. And that's what we're trying to do, lift the most amount of weight in this video. So if you've been frustrated with your bench press and it hasn't really been increasing, look at your bar path. It should not be straight. It should be going back towards you. So you touch high, so somewhere around your sternum right here, and then you push it back towards your face. More at the start and less at the end. And when you complete it, then you should notice a difference if you're not already doing this. It might take a few weeks to adjust, but you should have a stronger bench press. And just understand that every single person that has an amazing bench press utilizes this technique. Well, that's all the time we have. I hope I broke it down why the bench press the bar path should not be straight how you want to involve the shoulders and that leg drive utilizing that arch to reduce that range of motion and lifting therefore that weight thank you so much for watching if you like the video you're already here you're right at the end let's face it you got some knowledge make sure to like the damn video final announcement that I want to say just quickly you guys know I'm partnering up with the NASM I believe in that it's a personal training certification they got a free online two-week trial at myusatrainer.com slash Omar if you want to increase your knowledge if you're looking to become a trainer or just kind of understand some of these fundamentals when it comes to knowledge and application so you know what to do I think it's a very good certification a better certification than what I had here in Toronto and there is that free two-week trial so check that out link is in the description and I'll be seeing all you guys my rascals in that next video peace